Travis Kels loses out on $100,000 after Kentucky Derby's photo finish. Lost the game of chance, what are the chances? Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kels revealed on the latest episode of his New Heights podcast he almost won $100,000 betting on Forever Young at this year's Kentucky Derby. I was a nose away from winning that effing thing, dude, Travis told his brother and CEO host Jason Kels. While Travis favored Forever Young to win, he also put a little bit of money on the number two horse Churchill Downs. I almost effing won a $100,000 off a Japanese horse in the Kentucky Derby, Travis revealed. Do you think America would have shamed me for that, he added, jokingly. I'm shaming you right now, dude, Jason joked. You bet on a Japanese horse. But $100,000 may only be petty cash to Travis, who on Monday became the highest paid tight end in the NFL. NFL Media's Tom Pellicero reported that Kels will tack on two years to his current deal for $34.25 million. The NFL Super Bowl champion dressed in a white pinstripe suit with a navy blue fedora hat and matching tie with his signature diamond hoop earrings, designed by Patrick Christopher. Ironically, an excited Kels was featured in an INST Agram post on the Kentucky Derby's account with the caption, When you show up to the Kentucky Derby and your first bet hits, I was a beginner. I didn't get too far into that, Travis explained. I just wanted to effing put the money that I brought in there and throw it down on like one horse and just get effing pumped if that thing was even close. And sure enough, coming around that corner, you see that thing, come up. Absent from Kels' group of celebs at the race including Jimmy Fallon, who posted a video meeting Travis on INST Agram was Kels' girlfriend Taylor Swift who was preparing for the second leg of her era's tour in Paris the next night. Kel skipped the tour's first show in Paris tonight, possibly to mentally recover from his tough beat.